former Nickelodeon stars speak out about alleged inappropriate workplace practices. A new documentary looks at what some allege happened behind the scenes at some of Nickelodeon's most successful children's programming in the 1990s and early 2000s seconds. In the investigation discovery docuseries Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, some former child stars claim they were subjected to unethical work settings, including former Nickelodeon star Drake Bell, who claims he was sexually molested. Bell, who debuted on Nickelodeon sitcoms such as All That and The Amanda Show before starring in his own series, Drake and Josh, from 2004 to 2007, stated in a preview of the documentary provided by ID this week, revealed he was the John Doe youngster in the 2003 child sexual abuse case involving his former dialogue coach Brian Peck. Peck was arrested in 2003 and charged with 11 charges of lewd acts with a child and sexual abuse of a minor. He pled guilty to two charges and was sentenced to 16 months in prison. He was also required to register as a sexual offender. Bell alleged that Peck purposefully distanced him from his father, who also served as his manager, while the two were on set. I think Brian got a sense that my dad was on the watch and so he started to really drive a wedge between my dad and me, Bell was quoted as saying in the documentary. He started ranting about how my father is stealing my money, no one likes having my father on set, he is a huge problem. I believed it because he'd been in the company so long and must know more than us. Bell claimed that the abuse he received led him down a path of self-destruction, which included two arrests for driving under the influence and a child endangerment conviction in 2021. Nickelodeon issued a statement saying it was dismayed and saddened to learn of the trauma has endured, and we commend and support the strength required to come forward. Giovanni Samuels and Brian Hearn were two of the young actors who appeared on Nickelodeon's All That in 2001. They claimed Peck collaborated closely with the young performers. I can't even describe the feeling of knowing there was a monster among us, Hearn told Good Morning America. Samuels claimed she was saddened when she discovered Bell had come forward as a victim of Peck. It broke my heart. I cried, Samuels admitted. We weren't close with Drake, but we were around him, Hearn noted. He was a legend, and so, learning that he was being harmed, in a terrible way, angered me. Hearn and Samuels also spoke with GMA about former writer and executive producer Dan Schneider, who left Nickelodeon in 2018 after the network received accusations that he fostered a hostile work environment. When asked about working under Schneider, Samuels stated she and Hearn, who Hearn described as the two black children on set, were overlooked. Samuels and Hearn stated that they worked on sketches created by Schneider's crew, including on Air Dare. Those were torture moments for all of us, Samuels remarked about their ordeal. In one dare, Kieran was slathered in peanut butter and then licked by several dogs. During my on-air dare, I said, I don't like this, and to see that, and to having spoken it, was it funny? Kieran spoke, it wasn't for me, Samuels explained. Kieran and Samuels expressed their hope that quiet on set will initiate an important discourse about the treatment of child actors. Your youth will be slightly damaged after watching it, but I hope it will help you protect the next generation of children, Samuels said. In response to claims of hostile workplace environments, Nickelodeon told ABC News that while it cannot corroborate or negate allegations of behaviors from productions decades ago, Nickelodeon as a matter of policy investigates all formal complaints as part of our commitment to fostering a safe and professional workplace environment free of harassment or other kinds of inappropriate conduct, adding that it has adopted numerous safeguards over the years to help ensure we. Schneider's spokeswoman informed ABC News that his scripts went through numerous layers of executive approval and that parents and caretakers of kid performers were always present on set while filming. Dan expected and asked a lot from his teams, but he also knows some people did not have a positive experience, and he is truly sorry for that, the representative went on to say. Quiet on set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, a four-part docuseries, will look into additional behind-the-scenes charges made by actors and writers about children's shows in the 1990s and early 2000s seconds, including renowned Nickelodeon episodes like iCarly and Zoe 101. It will air on Investigation Discovery over two evenings, March 17th-18 at 9.11 p.m. MET, PT. According to a press release from the True Crime Network, the program reveals an insidious environment rife with allegations of abuse, sexism, racism, and inappropriate dynamics with its underage stars and crew. The documentary will include the director and cast members of iCarly, Sam and Cat, Victorious, and all that, as well as writers from The Amanda Show. The show, directed by Mary Robertson and Emma Schwartz and produced by Maxine Productions and Sony Pictures Television, will shine a spotlight on these emotional accounts, chronicling a pattern of gross, abusive, and manipulative behavior that unfolded across decades, as well as exclusive stories about child predators on set, according to the release.